Greetings, brethren. Habsburger Donkey here. Uh, I don't know how long my camera is gonna hold. It might run out of juice at some point, but I just wanted to quickly make a small video about these two barbarian leaders that I finally finished for the Wargamers Anonymous July painting challenge. And uh, I put them in my little homemade uh, uh, photo box, which used to just be a, a spray booth. Um, because I, I thought I, then I wouldn't have to constantly hold my hand behind it because I really kind of hate that. So yeah, they're done. Uh, as I said last time, this one was already pretty much done and just needed the basing. And I gave him the exact same basing that I use on the goblins. Because I kind of want the uh, basing to be consistent between all of my Oathmark uh, collection. So that I can, because of how the game works, right? You can You can put all different types of races together into one army. So I want to be able to do that and still have it look like one army. So that's that's why they all get the same basing. And uh, yeah, the, you already saw this one. Not much, not much different, but he does look pretty good on his base. And then we have, of course, the shaman that wasn't quite done yet. Uh, this this part is what I painted afterwards. The uh, the the top of his staff, and I think it turned out excellent. I really love this this teal color. Uh, that I used on the skull, and you can see I also used it on the uh, fur type deal that he has hanging from the back. I uh, sort of did like a, a split type deal. Uh, didn't It didn't end up looking exactly like I wanted it, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with it, so I think it looks good. Um, but yeah, this teal I think is, is a absolutely beautiful color. Um, it's... I think it's actually just called Teal Blue from the uh, Foundry range of paints. Uh, the highlight color is a tick too bright, I feel. I think that next time I'm going to use this this teal, I'm going to just mix in a little bit of the highlight with the mid-tone and sort of do a 50-50 of those. I think that'll give a much more uh, a much more interesting blue color. But I, I love it. For, uh, for a teal blue, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's It's just... I think it's gorgeous, and I think it works really well on this guy. And I'm glad I, I did the the sort of uh, war paint on the the skull. I, I think that that turned out really nice. I was thinking about giving these two uh, face war paint as well, and I might still do that on the speed painted barbarians, but I'm not sure. I kind of like them the way they are. I think uh, woad face paint is a little overdone, <laughs> maybe. So. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll still do it uh, on the Barbarians. I won't do it on these. I, I'll just say they're so important they don't need face paint because everybody already knows how awesome these two guys are. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's me done with the challenge. Uh, I had a lot of fun and I thought a lot of the other stuff that I've seen was really great. It's, uh, I love these challenges and, and like community projects, group builds, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think they're, they're really great. And... Um, Let's see, I'm about uh, 120 something subscribers now. I think uh, when I hit 200 or 250, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a, a challenge thing as well for the community. All right, that's pretty much it. And I'll let you know when I have anything else finished, like the massive pile of terrain I'm working on, or uh, uh, anything about the uh, the barbarians, which are gonna be next, the the, the speed paint. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.